Hey there, viewers. Do you experience pain in your joints and muscles? Is there swelling in your legs or around the eyes? How about swollen glands or lymph nodes? Chances are you could be suffering from lupus. Lupus is a long-term autoimmune disease where your body's immune system becomes hyperactive and attacks normal, healthy tissues. In today's video, we'll be talking about all the ways lupus affects your body. What impact does it have on your heart and lungs? Can it impact your skin as well? What about your kidneys and brain? We'll talk about all of these and more. Number 1. Heart and Lungs When you have lupus, various parts of your body are affected. For instance, it raises the risk of heart attack. You would also be at a greater risk of suffering a stroke. The reason for this could be the inflammation that comes with lupus. This is a long-term condition and affects your heart and lungs over a period of time. Lupus is responsible for the inflammation of the heart or the sac around it. This can result in a sharp pain in the chest area. Even some of the medication you use for lupus, like steroids, can also increase the risk of heart disease. The condition can also cause inflammation on the lining present outside your lungs. When you take deeper breaths, the pain can get a lot worse. This particular condition is called pleurisy. Because of this inflammation, your lungs can end up with a scar. It can also result in shortness of breath. You can take a few steps of your own to avoid these issues. If you're a smoker, you're at a greater risk of having lung infection and heart disease. The habit may also end up slowing down your blood flow, as well as increasing your blood pressure. So it would be best for you to quit the habit. Try to exercise regularly. This can also help strengthen your heart as well as your lungs. You can even look for exercises that go easy on your joints, such as swimming and yoga. It's also important to eat foods that keep your blood pressure and cholesterol under control. Eating a lot of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help with this. Additionally, you can also have salmon two times a week, and it's packed with omega-3 fatty acids. It goes without saying that you should avoid fast foods and fried foods. You'll also help yourself by staying up to date on your flu and pneumonia vaccines. Do you eat a healthy and balanced diet? How are you making sure you're getting enough omega-3 fatty acids? Share your experiences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Skin When it's your internal organs being affected, that's really scary. When it's something you can see on the outside, it's terrifying. If you have lupus, you're more vulnerable to ultraviolet rays from the sunlight. This can do damage to your skin. One of the more common side effects of lupus is a rash on your nose and cheeks in the shape of a butterfly. You'll also see red, scaly patches all over your body. There's also a chance of coin-like patches forming on your scalp. These are called discoids. You may also experience sores around your mouth and nose. Hair loss is common, but it won't make you go bald. Your fingers and toes can turn white or blue when they get cold. This is a condition called Raynaud's phenomena. You'll need to give your skin some protection while you have lupus. Sunscreen with an SPF of 50 or more is a must. You should also avoid exposing yourself to the sun in the middle of the day. When you do go out, wear wide-brimmed hats, as well as clothing that covers your skin almost completely. You should also avoid using any hair products that have harsh chemicals. Switching to baby shampoo would be a good idea. Your toes and fingers can get cold, so try wearing socks and mittens as much as possible. This will keep them warm. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great Bestie content. Number 3. Kidneys When you suffer from lupus, it'll cause inflammation in your kidneys. This can lead to permanent damage. You may find that your legs get swollen and your blood pressure goes up. With a scenario like this, your doctor will look for blood cells or protein in the urine. This can be a sign of kidney damage. When you have lupus, you're at a higher risk of kidney failure. As a result, you'll require dialysis. Talk to your doctor about any symptoms you may have observed related to kidney issues. These symptoms will include swelling in your ankle or in your lower leg. You may also have foamy, possibly even bloody urine. As part of your lupus checkups, make sure you go to your rheumatologist for blood tests. This will ensure your kidneys are in working condition. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. Improving your immunity can help you fight a lot of diseases. But how do you do that? Watch and learn more about natural ways to boost your immunity. Now, back to our discussion on six ways lupus affects the body. Number four, brain and central nervous system. This is where things become really complicated. 
Another scary part of lupus is what it can do to your brain and central nervous system. It affects your spinal cord's nerves in a number of ways. When that happens, one of the effects is clouded thinking and memory loss. If you find yourself constantly dealing with this, lupus is one of the main possibilities. The confusion you experience is highly overwhelming. Another impact of brain damage would be constant headaches. These can be debilitating and will not allow you to go about your day in a regular fashion. You may also face depression and anxiety. Seizures can be another effect of lupus. Your brain and central nervous system are affected by this. While it's quite rare, you may even suffer from a stroke. To avoid these effects, the best thing you can do is try and calm yourself. You can do yoga or tai chi to bring down your stress levels. These activities will relax your muscles. Because you might face memory loss and confusion, it's best to arm yourself against the pitfalls that come from that. Start reminding yourself, whether in the form of sticky notes or messages on your phone. More importantly, you'll need to build a strong support network. If you're suffering from clouded thinking, you can try to get cognitive therapy to help you through it. For those suffering from depression and anxiety, counseling is always a good option. Even some of the medicine you use for lupus could help you with your memory and thought-related issues. Number 5. Eyes It's an unpleasant fact, but lupus can have a negative impact on your eyes. When it comes to the eyes, the condition will cause dryness. While it is a rare occurrence, there can be blood vessel changes in your retina, which will hurt your vision. Lupus can also damage the nerves in your eye. As a result, the muscles that control their movement are also affected. If you do have dry eyes, the best thing you can do is use artificial teardrops. Number 6. Joints and Muscles When you have lupus, you'll commonly face problems such as pain in your joints, swelling, and stiffness. Although the swelling you suffer from won't necessarily damage your joints, it can still be a painful experience. Lupus can cause weakness by affecting your muscles. You can try to deal with these issues by taking anti-inflammatory drugs. You can also have a warm shower or bath to deal with the swelling. A heating pad or cold pack can be useful to reduce pain and stiffness. If you have joint pains, it's best for you to completely avoid high-intensity exercises. This way, you can avoid putting further pressure on them. At the same time, you need to stay active. This is why walking and yoga are healthy choices. Autoimmune diseases like lupus have deep ties with chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation can also lead to joint problems like arthritis. You'll be surprised to know that your daily diet has a dramatic impact on your inflammation levels. There are actually foods you eat that can increase inflammation in your body. Here's what you need to know. Check out 11 surprising foods that cause inflammation. You can also try our video on 10 foods to avoid if you have arthritis. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both. Learn more about health and fitness. Did you know about lupus before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.